Squad, what's going on, guys? This is where we left off, right here in Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, and we took Marcus Jensen and brought him to that uh, to interrogate him, basically. We took him there because, for some reason, he thought he wasn't doing anything wrong, but because he was helping out the cartel and everything, we had to take him down and show him, like, hey, you know, you're doing stuff wrong. Now that I just did that, we're gonna try and. I guess get a little bit closer. I don't know. I feel like just waiting for my helicopter. I messed up again on this vehicle drop off. But in today's episode, we're going to go just to the next province over and try and take out General Barrow, him right here. And now, pretty much, he is head of the Unidad, which is in corporation of the cartel. So the first thing that we're going to do is have to reach the headquarters and do something there. But there are only four missions in here. And then after that, so we might be able to do that just in one episode, maybe, depending on how much time we have after finishing all those episodes, all the uh, missions. And then after that, it's just these three. And then we'll have finished all the butchins. <clears throat> but we're going to take the time right here, get a helicopter, fly over to that Unidad base, and hopefully the missions will go quickly and we'll finish him in one episode. Because depending on the mission, three missions usually is per episode, but we can finesse four possibly but we'll see so we'll do it in a good 15 seconds we're almost there i had to mess it up so we have to sit here and wait <clears throat> and obviously you don't even have to wait here you could easily just move it forward and skip whatever portions you want i mean it's a youtube video just watch all the things that you like i asked the rebels to send over a vehicle for i'm us. done i'm not doing this nope I'll nope drive. nope nope that was, I can't believe I just did that again. I literally just pulled it up and then click, boom, gone. I got another armored vehicle for no reason. Imagine if we had two armored vehicles and we had both of us going through. So we have a team of four. What if we had two drivers and two people on the guns? That'd be pretty insane. That'd be awesome though. I don't think we could do it though. I doubt it. Because no matter what vehicle is going or coming or anything, we have to drive it. You can't have the computer drive it, I've tried. But we can go in here, take their helicopter. I asked the rebels to do a recon of the area. Take him out, take him out. Take him out. One, two, and three. So now all we gotta do is come over here and grab the helicopter and fly away. But they do have something inside, and that is a piece of weapon. So I might as well go in there and get it since I'm right here. How do I go inside? Jeez. So extra for no reason. There we go. And this one. You know, why not? And there's no point in not doing it. We'll check it out. I mean, nothing says new, so... I guess we didn't get anything really, really important. Look at all that Unidad presence. There must be a base right there. I mean, we're probably getting close to the Unidad, basically, heart of uh, Bolivia. We're going to come over here, hop over these trees, and then go over to this next area. I mean, I wish we could hop. That'd be interesting if they made like a vehicle that was more like walking or hopping. They never will, because it's so inefficient. But it'd be interesting and fun to play with like as a little kid or something like that. I guess you could say it's a pogo stick. Pogo sticks are just eh takes time and skill. I mean, what if you could just sit in there and the whole vehicle just hopped for you and you just sat there like it was a ride? What if they made a roller coaster like that? No, it would be too be too unpredictable. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking. We're going to land on this rock. Coming up on Unidad's main operating base. I'm seeing rail lines coming in and out. Watch towers, warehouses. 
Is that a heliport? Bowman's intel is up to snow. There we the go. Data center somewhere underground. Let's go find the basement. Eyes up. We got hostiles in the area. I know there's someone here. So I gotta take him out when I see him. I'm pretty sure he's on the other side of that platform. I need him to walk closer to this side. Or somewhere. So that way at least I can lock onto him. Because I'm not using spotting just for one guy. Come on. There we go. Sniper, top of the tower. Got some hostile activity. Yo, eyes on a grunt. There, next to the mortar. Now where's the entrance? That's my question. Sniper up in the tower. Okay. We just follow the road, I guess. Opening fire. I did not do all that. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought he dropped down. Might as well get a vehicle. No hostiles evident. So now we gotta get to their underground base center. This might take a little bit longer than I thought. But... Sniper, top of the tower. All right, we're all clear. My question is, where's the entrance? I'm assuming it'd be right here on this cliff side. Wounded that bird on patrol. Watch out. Maybe it's right there. Maybe the mission is correct. So I'll climb back up here. But I think this would be too easy, you know? Look alive, we got company. Oh no, it's not that easy, I guess. I asked the rebels to recon the area for us. I'm moving to position. Moving to a good sight line. Let me get a good sight line. Target acquired. Copy. Target, Target work, boss. Target is down. How do I get in? We 
done? Shit. And just use this vehicle coming? Yo, we got hostiles. To get in? I'll try it first. So if we can drive this vehicle up to this entrance, hopefully it will open the door. Let's roll. Or not. So we gotta find a way to like climb over to this wall somehow. It's a little steep. Maybe there's like an opening somewhere. Or hop over to this. There we go. Now how do we get underground? Aha. Data center Perfect. May be down here. Let's Locate see the main data up. server. And this is all one mission. Alright. Oh my gosh, it's a long way down. I'm still going down. Here we go. Now I just gotta take out these two. There we go. Found a Santa Blanca medal. This will make a nice souvenir. Oh, that was messy as shit. Now we just gotta look around and find the main data server. Oh, up there. Stairs. Here we go. So now we just gotta take these stairs Some unidad fuckers up onto here. The terminal and here we are. To the main system. I'm in. Pull security while I And now we just gotta defend the position. Bones. Great. Ton of data here. I need you there. Copy. They're on alert. I call Pakatari for some reinforcements. Data transferring. Maintain the perimeter. Oh jeez. They're underneath. I need my guys down here. Got a tango. So we gotta defend this last vehicle, and there are a couple helicopters coming in, but helicopters can't reach us. Yeah, I was about to say, there's no opening or anything.
So now we just gotta leave. That's not too bad. So we'll go back. We're good. Bowman's got everything worth getting. Uh, Let's go. Where did I come from? This way? This way. There we go. So I'll go back up this way. If I can see anything. There we go. Retrieved. General Barrow's former aide is in jail. Turns out he knew a little too much about Unidad's dirty laundry, so Barrow locked him up. You set him free. He might feel like sharing some secrets he has on his old boss. That dog will hunt. We also found information that assets we have placed within Unidad may be exposed. Somehow, some Santa Blanca mook found out who they are, and he's planning to name them to a Unidad captain named Iglesia. You have to silence this cartel informer. We got a location on the target? Negative, but we have a location on the Unidad captain. Find him, tail him to his meet with the Santa Blanca informer, then take out the informer. Roger that. Let us know if you pull anything else from that data hack. Copter, get down. Yeah, this thing definitely takes down choppers like they're nothing. So now we gotta do this one. Locate the Unidad captain without being detected. Okay, so this will probably be two episodes because those undetected missions take forever. operative is set to meet with his Unidad contact to give up the agent's identity. We can't let that happen. Follow the Unidad officer to his meet and eliminate the operative. Really? Now they open it? We're losing unit cohesion. Got closing ranks. We're just gonna hop in this vehicle right here and drive on over to this next spot. Okay, we're still all right. Here we go. We're almost there. Well, kind of. How far is this? Eh, it's not too, too far. It's just all the windy roads and everything. We're not going directly to it. Which is also why I like helicopters better. But we're definitely going to try and get this mission done in this episode. If we can't, then, you know, oh well. We know one mission, at least, will pretty be pretty easy, which is the very last mission. The only one that we've ever had trouble with was Marcus Jensen. But most of them, you either kill them or you grab them real quick. They're not very difficult. So in the next episode, we either do two or three uh, missions, and we're definitely finishing it. Because four missions is short. I mean, the only reason this one took forever is because of all that running up and down stairs. And maybe this one right here, this mission. We're about to find out, so... All right, now I can't be detected. Meaning I should take I asked the rebels my advantage of spotting. Of okay, so now I have to tail before. him somehow. Let's keep us clean and by the numbers. Liga, you have something good this time. That last chip was mierda. Yankee spies in La Unidad? How many? Listo, listo. Ten thousand dollars. No, I can't meet there. Meet me at the shack in the mountains. Bueno. Alright, so now he's gonna start leaving, I'm assuming. I wonder how many assets Bowman has out here. Hell, if they're playing on our team, I'm not gonna complain when we gotta go save him. True. We find the Unidad captain and kill the cartel informer he meets with. Trains do come. 
So let's hope not right now. Is he going to get into a vehicle and leave? Where is he going? He's reached about where the vehicles are. Yeah, he's gotten into a vehicle. Okay, he's not turning this way. I was about to say, if he turned this way, that wouldn't be that wouldn't be good. Alright, I'm getting a little close. A little too close. Because I don't want to stop in front of that Unidad patrol point. Alright, we're at a good safe distance. This isn't too bad at all. So we're definitely going to get this mission done. Oh, there's a cartel point. Oh, this is what they're meeting at. Danger close. I asked him. I got eyes on the Santa Blanca informer. Let's take him out. Tango down, tango down. Cartel informer is dead. Our Knox and Larry Perfect. are safe. And they won't know until they see his dead body. Now they're aware. The captain's making a run for it. And they're probably going to run away. Or look for me. Depending on which one happens. Not entirely sure. But, are there any missions left? There is. So now the next one is we got to locate the rebel lieutenant. And then I'm assuming talk to him. And then the last mission would be to take this guy out. So in the next mission, we're going to go locate the Rebel Lieutenant, talk to him, see what he has to say, all this other good stuff. And if you want to see that episode, it comes up Monday. And I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, hit the like down below. And if you do want to see that episode and see it easily and quickly, hit the subscribe button. You'll be able to see all my videos come straight to your subscription box pretty easily. All that good stuff. I post every single day, you know, and I hope you guys... Do enjoy, and I hope to see you in the next episode. See ya.